Did you guys see what happened? Did anybody? Did you guys see what happened? Oh uh, no, I didn't see what happened. Okay. 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 The ambulance is already coming. Tell me again. Tell me again. It's your boy Nefakari Desalene back in the building, yes indeed. And today we gotta talk about Nipsey Hustle body cam footage release. Let's talk about it. Now, as we know, if you've been keeping up with the story, Nipsey Hustle's murder trial has been in motion and the perpetrator has been found guilty as recently as a few weeks ago. At the time of Nipsey's death, I remember a lot of clips and a lot of stories going viral, a lot of conspiracy theories going viral. In fact, the only thing we had at the time was maybe a, a grainy surveillance clip, a grainy surveillance photo from like miles and miles away, some grainy old footage. We couldn't really get any clear depiction of what happened. We couldn't really get anyone to testify, you know, the, you know, no snitching code. You couldn't really get any inside information. So a lot of conspiracies, a lot of theories were running wild. And in fact, because, you know, during trial, a lot of things are presented to the jury, a lot of things are presented to the judge in terms of footage, in terms of unreleased documents, in terms of unreleased information that the public doesn't know about. And this latest clip is actually one of them. This clip is actually one of the body cam videos from the responding officers that came to the scene immediately after Nipsey was shot. And as you can see, you can see his brother Black Sam trying to perform CPR. You see some women crying in the extended footage. You see some of his other friends in the extended footage that also got shot because as you know, Nipsey was not the only one that got shot. His group of friends that he was kicking it with, standing around in front of the store with, they also got shot as well and were also taken to the hospital. And in fact, what I didn't know was that Nipsey was shot at least 10 times. I did not know. Of course, we saw the video of him getting kicked in the head from that old surveillance clip, but I did not know that Nipsey was shot that many times. In fact, I thought Nipsey was shot maybe, you know, a few times maybe four or five times at most so as we can see nipsey was cut down nipsey had really no chance to survive and in fact all the only thing i could hope for is that it was it was quick is that hopefully it was painless hopefully he didn't suffer too long and you know i'm still sad you know it's a monumental loss that we lost nipsey you know we lose a lot of you know we lose, we lose a lot of rappers in general but in terms of nipsey he was one of the good ones man he was one of the good ones i can say and you know let me get into this article Eric Holder, the man charged in the fatal shooting of Grammy-nominated rapper Nipsey Hussle, was found guilty of first-degree murder on Wednesday. The jury deliberated for about six hours before reaching the verdict. Eric Holder, 32, had also been charged with two counts of attempted first-degree murder because two other bystanders were hit by gunfire, but the jury found him guilty of two counts of attempted voluntary manslaughter instead. Nipsey Hussle was fatally shot outside of his Los Angeles clothing store in March 2019. He was only 33. When the trial began last month, prosecutors said Holder's attack was calculated and premeditated. Deputy District Attorney John McKinney said there was no doubt that Eric Holder knew that he'd killed Nipsey Hussle, adding that Holder shot Hussle at least 10 times and kicked him in the head before running away. McKinney said that there had been a dispute between the two. Hussle had heard Holder was a snitch and wanted to clear that up. The Deputy, the deputy District Attorney said that the pair, along with two of Hustle's friends had a cool conversation with Holder prior to the attack, noting that Hustle didn't have any security with him when he visited the store. However, prosecutors had a hard time getting witnesses to testify. One police official attributed their reluctance to a fear of being seen as a snitch. Meanwhile, Holder's attorney, Aaron Jensen, told the jury that Hustle's murder was not planned and said Holder didn't mean to shoot the two bystanders. He pinned the attack on heated passion. Last week, Holder was attacked by multiple individuals while in a jail holding cell. Johnson told CBS News he was allegedly cut by a razor and taken to the hospital where he received an MRI and stables in the back of his head. Now, as you can see, you know, the lawyer is going to defend his client. So we're not going to spend too much time, you know, talking about what the nonsense that the defense attorney said, because listen, he gets paid the big bucks to, you know, BS the judges and BS the jury and defend his clients, even, you know, by any means. So it is what it is. We're not going to talk about the morality of lawyers. But as you can see, Eric Holder, he's not having a good time in jail. You know, he's getting stables in the back of his head. He's getting beat up. He's getting lumped up. I seen a picture of him, you know, eyes all bruised up, beat up, you know, stay swollen and bruised. Man, listen, he's having a hard time. So karma is running its course and me i don't believe in karma but as you can see karma is running his course he's going to be behind bars for the rest of his earthly existence and it's going to be an unpleasant experience and you know only thing i can say rest in peace nipsey you know sad we lost you bro um you know and hopefully but the brothers that are still here you know those of us who are still living still on earth you know we carry the torch carry the legacy and follow the example that he set in terms of business in terms of entrepreneurship independence genius believing in yourself betting on yourself building your own brand as you can see nipsey got killed in front of his own store yeah 
rocking his own clothes yeah 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 next to his own bands yeah so you know um nipsey died like a boss nipsey died like a boss man it's the only thing we could wish for is to die like a boss just like kevin samuels you know what i'm saying died like a boss you know died rich died wealthy make sure your kids got money making sure you know what i'm saying you die fly you down top and that's the only thing we could wish for man we don't want to die at rock bottom you know what i mean so rest in peace nipsey you know it's uh it's a sad situation it's your boy Nefakari Desaline back in the building. Yes, indeed. And I'm gone. Peace.